All right, guys, we are in the beach, not in uh, Spain, not in Portugal, not in Italy, not in Greece, no. There's actually a beach in Sweden. This is it. You can see people are here enjoying life yeah, and everything. Yeah, there's actually a lot of beaches. And over there is a nude beach. So if you go over there, like those people, if you can zoom, they're actually naked. But uh, we're not going to be zooming and seeing them naked. Yes, so we are here enjoying everything, and I'm here with none other than. What's your name? Introduce yourself. You're eating. Swallow. My name mm. is still the same name. Which was? <laughs> Jacqueline. Yes, and uh, you have an umbrella, at least you're not feeling the sun as much as I am. An umbrella? Yeah. My hair? Mm hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have my umbrella, but uh, we're enjoying the sun. But you have this one. Yeah, but I have a hat. But I was told it means assassin in South Africa. It's called Nkabi, if you see here. Nkabi. Yeah. It means what? Assassin. Like a killer? Yeah. What? Let me see. Yeah, this Nkabi. Did you buy it in South Africa? Mm. And they didn't tell you that? Or maybe it's a lie. No, it's true. A lot of people told me, if you're from South Africa, comment also. Nkabi means like assassins. So the ones who sold you they didn't tell you? No. But it's their brand. It's called Nkabi. Ah, okay. Yeah. Like yeah. So anyways, we are going to have a small swim and play some games here in the beach. I'm not going to swim, but maybe you. you maybe, swim. depending on the weather. Yeah. But uh, what game are we going to play today? We have uh, here we have um, sequence. Shout out Selfmade for introducing us to this game. Sequence, mm -hmm. um, which is, yeah, we don't have the rest out, it's still in the bag. And here we have a new, a sequence we've played before. Yeah. Here we have a new game. That none of us have played. None of us has played, and mm. it's called We Are Not Really Strangers. And it's a game, for, okay, this exactly is for couples, mm -hmm. but they have also for friends or for yourself alone also. They have different types. Mm -hmm. And um, it's for people to, like, get to know each other and connect and you know have com conversation starters and things like this but this one it says relationship expansions pack so i think there is another one that is the first then this is like extra new questions you know but i mm -hmm. didn't buy the first this is what i bought so we're gonna have to figure out what is in here and the point of the game is to to talk with like if for example if you're doing it in a mm. couple like us then it's for you to start to get to talk about certain topics that maybe in a normal day you don't sit and ask these questions, you know? Wow, so and it's going to be personal. And if you do it with friends, also you get to know your friends better. If you do it with mm. yourself, it's to learn about yourself or how to take care of yourself, things like mm. that. So it right. maybe it's a, little, it's a bit of a deep uh, activity. Yeah. I don't know. We don't know what is inside. Yeah, none of us have actually seen it not the one who bought it and neither do I. So we're going to learn about ourselves, about each other, and you guys will also learn about us. So, yalla, let's go. Open up, open up. But you can put the camera somewhere, no? Oh, okay. Because we need both hands to, to operate it. Okay, let's put the camera here. Wait. Oh, the birds are coming now. Hide the food, okay? Quiet up. Oh, nice. There's a bird here and you know Jackie and birds, she has the allergy, not allergy, the phobia. If you go now, you're making it worse. Just sit down. Because it's minding its own business. But the problem with this particular birds, what are they called? Uh, this, um... The... Scrat moss. Oh, no, 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 no. The problem with them is they don't care. You know, I've been attacked before. Hey, don't bring any food. No, 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 no. don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Don't engage with them at all. But they are afraid of us. No, don't do that. They see you're giving them food. Okay. Oh my God, my heart is racing so fast. Okay, just ignore them then. We are surrounded. Mm -hmm. Okay, we trust. So. No, 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 Okay. It's the kid who was chasing it. I, I know, can't but, believe the, but the bird doesn't know that the, 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 yeah, the, but the, the kid, kid doesn't know the that. The kid is not afraid of it. Yeah, of course it's a kid. Why would and you? Yeah, me, I'm an adult, so of course it's only adults that know fear. 
your brain is more messed up. Anyways, I write that you're supposed to divide them in three perfect. Okay, sound check done. What assumptions did you make about me that turned out to be false? Oh, damn. That is a long time ago to mm. remember. What assumptions did I make about you? That turned out to be false. That's level one. Honestly, that's hard to answer because it was so long ago I met you. Yeah, but when you met me, what did you assume I was? I mean, I can go first if you don't have anything. Okay, you go first. Well, mine was, uh, I thought you were like every other Habesha. Mm. That you don't like black people, you don't really, you know, you, you can say hi and be in school together, but not really hang out with us or date us or stuff like that. Mm. No, the ones we used mm. to take with me. So that's like one of the assumptions I had about you. Okay. Uh, Honestly, I don't remember what assumptions I had about you. Maybe that you were not so serious. Because we were friends, you know, so you used to tell me stories. Serious, you thought, with life? No, with girls. Like, but from the stories you were telling me, I didn't think you can be in a relationship, so I don't know why <laughs> I'm here, but uh, yeah. Yeah, so you didn't think I'd be, I'd be in a relationship? I don't know if... And then you ended up in a relationship with me. I mean, I don't know if I assumed that, but I remember that you used to tell me stories of girls, and, like, I, w I didn't see you as a guy for relationships, do you know? Mm. Because when we were friends, you used to share with me a lot, so... Okay. I was thinking like, but I remember I used to tell you that oh it's too much, it's too much. Basically, she was thinking I'm a fuck boy. I mean, you were so it was ah. not an assumption; it was the truth actually. From okay. your stories. Nesta. We have done. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you think my perfect date night will be? This is a good question. Now I want to see if you, what you're going to say. Your perfect date night. Date night. That's simple. You would have to dress up, make your take, make your hair, like makeup, wear like nice dress or skirt or whatever, and then uh, you would expect also me to dress up well, probably in like uh, an official clothing. I don't know, not really suit, but something official. And then go, of course food has to be involved because you eat too much. Uh, go to a nice restaurant somewhere in the city with no, no disturbances, you know? Like a view where you can sit and talk and chill, some nice music and uh, with flowers. What do you mean with flowers? We find flowers there or? No, like for example, if I'm coming to take you to that place, I come with flowers. Mm. Yeah. And how am I getting to the date? You'll be chauffeured there. Mm. Yeah, not with public transport. Mm. But either to be chauffeured there or like Uber, Uber luxury. But anyway, yeah, that okay, would be the perfect date. And after we eat, what happens? It's finished. We drink. We drink. Yeah, we drink some wine. Anyways, seriously, after we eat, then we go to like a club or a bar, mostly a club, and like dance a little bit. Oh no, the birds have come to fight because the guys have left their bags and have gone in the water. Yeah, so that would be your perfect date scenario. Oh no, babe, are they coming here? No, if you sit, if you stand, then they will come to just sit. Oh my god. Really? Leave them alone. These they are guys. not even focused on you. You think? Yeah. Li literally, there's nothing we have that they want. We don't have food, we don't have water, we don't have colors. Oh yeah, maybe I should hide my water. That's a good point. Yeah. Ah. You answer the question now. Uh, Wait, was I right? Was I correct? Where is the card? Anyways, um... Was I correct? I mean, somehow. Mm. Yes, but I think 
a perfect day, like perfect, mm. then I would like, uh, first of all, like it would be so nice if the person is uh, like surprising me. I would mm. like. <laughs> Can you pause the video, babe? Guys, this is what is happening. The I have to hide. Because uh, some guys left some food there. So now the guys are the, birds the are guys there. are coming He's back still. now. Look at that. This one is even running away with the box of chips by itself. <laughs> yeah. And somebody here is about to die. I don't know why they have to fly so low. Babe, I think I'm going to move. Where is in the sea? Why are they so obsessed with humans? Look how many. Because they here they have to hunt, but here the food is being left open. Yeah, it's better to hunt so they can survive. But now they they are gone, anyways. Now they found another place. They all go in the new spot. <laughs> they see. They know they are waiting for these guys to go in the water. They don't know that the guys are leaving. With the food. Oh god, that was hard to watch. So I was saying. Mm. Oh, we continue. <sighs> All right. So now the scare is is over, and we can continue on with the game. Fear of birds. The birds are still here, by the way. Yeah, I mean, they can't end. You can't finish all birds on Earth. No, no, there are so many now here because they, are th they think these guys are still going in the water. They can continue to steal. Because the bird literally took the bag from the bag, like the food from inside the bag. You know, they are very... Smart. Yeah. But they're not concerned with us and they won't even come close to by here. So the question was, at the late night, you answer and you ask me if it's, I think it's right. Yeah, mm -hmm. I said, yeah. But uh, the only thing is that I think I would like uh, to be surprised and to go to like a... Yeah, anyways, as you said, yeah, a nice restaurant and um, I would like... Uh, if it has to be a perfect night, then I think I would like for an activity to be there. Mm. Like something like a game or... Mm -hmm. or After or, dinner? No, or before also. Like for example... If it's, I don't know, what should I say, like if it's bowling, yeah, for example, if it's okay. bowling or something, then you can do that. It depends also. You can also do first and eat or do or eat and do, depending on what it is. Mm. But I like to do activities like games, you know, I don't know why and I like that. The other way around. For you. Mm. Uh, we, we, let's not explain too much because of time. Otherwise, we'll, it will be very long, this video. How important do you think birthdays and holidays are to me? For you? Yeah, it says to me. Zero. And explain. Zero. <laughs> Zero. Explain. Because you don't care. No, that's not explaining. Explaining is that you don't care about birthdays, you don't care about Christmas, you don't care about New Year, you don't care about anniversaries, you don't care about nothing. It's mm. the Valentine's Day. Yeah. I mean, if we do something, it's because of me, not because you wanted to do it. Yeah, because I, I never celebrate. Sad. I never celebrate. I work almost all Christmas but and New Year if possible. Yeah, but I'm saying you're right. I'm telling you, yeah. Because it says explain. Yeah, that's the explanation, mm. that you don't care. Because how important do you think? For you, they are not important. Yeah. Like, if someone tells you, would you rather uh, spend Christmas with your family or mm. be alone in uh, Mount Himalaya, which one would you choose? Uh, why would I be alone in Mount Himalaya? That's so boring. Because you like to explore. Yeah, but do you, have you ever seen me exploring mountains? Okay, I'm not a mountain I wanted person. to be extra, but like anyway, on a beach in Mexico then alone or be with your family for Christmas, which one would you choose? On a beach in Mexico? Alone. Like all alone? No, no, there is people, but not your friends or like your family. Like traveling, yeah. say traveling, or be with my family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then that is traveling, because even now I do have those choices, but most of the time 
I choose to travel or something instead of go and be with family. Yeah. Because family it doesn't have to be Christmas. I can't see them any other time. So the same with birthdays and anniversaries and all those things. Anyways, yeah. But, you know, it's funny you say that, mm. but it's not true. Because Maybe. it's the same like people that say, oh, but you can, it can be Valentine any other day. Yeah, but people don't make Valentine other days. They say that, but then... Even you, you say that, but it's not like you come another day and say, oh, let's do something special as if it was Valentine. People just say that and then, oh, but your birthday can be any day, but then you don't, never get a cake another day. Mm. So I don't agree with that, but anyways, it's your own belief. Yeah, your turn. I think we should go to level two. Oh, there's only two left. Yeah, mm. let's leave them for No, just time. do it. But then we'll never, look how many here. Yeah, but it's only two. What was the first thing you noticed about me? Your hair. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't say explain. No. Okay, because that's self-explanatory. Yeah. Yeah. And you? I don't remember, but I just remember that uh, I was enjoying talking to you that time when we met for the first time. Oh, you were enjoying? I remember like it was a nice talk. I don't know what we were talking about, but I, I remember that we were in a group and somehow we ended up like talking, like moving from the group and talking, talking, talking. I don't know about what, to be honest. So I had a good feeling, but I don't remember what it was. Who do you think was more nervous on our first date? Explain. Well, we didn't have a first date, so. But we did have that first time I came to you. Like, uh, I remember. To visit me. Yeah, when we were, we came like, you know, okay, we are dating. I remember that time because I remember I came for the baptism. Mm. And then after a while you were like, oh, maybe you should come again. And I was like, really? Because I was surprised. I didn't expect you. Like, yeah. And I was like, okay. Then I came. But of course we were not nervous because we knew each other. We had yeah. been friends for That's long. That's what I mean. Like, we can't answer this one. Like, it's not like we date. never saw each other before. Yeah. Okay, we moved to level two. Level two. It's getting hot. Mm -hmm. Level two. Level two. How do our strengths and weaknesses complement each other? Eh, oh wow, one. that one is so deep. Wow, but this one, I think this has been, anyways, yeah. This How one is too deep. do our strengths and weaknesses complement each other? Can you take another one? No, babe, that's the whole point of the game. So what our, first of all, we need to know what our strengths and weaknesses are. This one is too, it's too complex. It has to be thought of. Okay. Mm. But it was not because we will never answer it again. Yeah, we should note it down and then we'll think about it later. There was also another one you said the same. Mm -hmm. What do you wish we did more of? Traveled. <laughs> That's all? I uh, know, they just said one, they didn't say several. No, oh, it can be even a hundred. They didn't say maximum one. Yeah, but we say one. Kish, answer the question. Yeah, but I say. Is that all you have to say? Yes or no? It's fine if it is, but I want to know. Yes. Okay, so you wish we traveled more together? Mm. Okay, I didn't know that. Um, I want to answer also. What did I wish we did more together? I wish we did more different things. Like? Like, try different things together, go to different places, like, go out, eat out, do things, like, just mm. things. But especially, I wish we did more, like, that time, for example, when we went to my work, and mm. then we ended up playing that game. I thought that was nice, because I feel like, oh, we're trying something new, you know? Then, oh, like, like, trying new things. Yeah. Ah, okay. Then I, I feel like it's fun to find, to find new things together. Level two, level up. What made you fall in love with me? That's, this one is deep. <laughs> Maybe I need to hold the microphone here. Uh, what made me fall in love with you? Uh, I mean, at first it was uh, how I felt comfortable with you. Um, and I felt like I trusted you. That's first of all the most thing. I felt like I trusted you and I was comfortable. And... Um, and then you as a person, of course, like, I felt, or I feel, that you are very, uh, what should I say, 
very stubborn. I mean yeah you are stubborn but I'm thinking of the right words very first of all kind yeah uh, uh, even though I feel like now you are less kind than Your you used, are showing. used to be mm -hmm. yeah let's pretend that it's a bikini and uh, oh but maybe they will tell you you cannot post it no no it's okay we'll fix it um and then uh, what was I saying yeah you as a person because I felt like you were uh, like someone that gave me like a good feeling you know I think actually I think the answer should be that it was your character to be honest because like we used to have fun and then I uh, talk about anything and I could see that you were a good person that you were like you know good with your friends and things like this so I think at that time, that's why I fell in love with you, especially because of our friendship. <laughs> so, hi, it's me. What's the most important lesson a past relationship has taught you? Well, you don't have relationships. Of course I've had. The most important. Most important lesson a past relationship has taught you. Fear women. <laughs> so you clearly learned nothing. <sighs> Anyways, maybe I should answer also so that it's more deep because that's so superficial. That's why now we did we need the card that we don't have that says dig deeper because that's not how you're supposed to answer these questions. No, but they, don't they say like explain? No, you're supposed to answer properly. Mm. Anyways, I don't know what lesson I would say, but like from my previous relationship is like maybe it's because I was with a mad woman. So can you watch your words? It's true though; she was not normal. So it made me fear women in a certain degree. Okay, I think for me, I would say to not trust people too much and too fast. And to yeah, mostly that. Along not to trust people too much and too fast. Yeah, along with a million other lessons. But I feel like you trusted me too much and too fast. Yeah, I know. So I haven't really learned the lesson, so but that's what learn. I've learned. Mm. Okay, I have learned, learned that, but then I still do the same mistake. You've learned the lesson, but you didn't uh, apply it. Apply mm. the lesson because there are other lessons that I have learned and I still didn't apply. So, do you think my job affects me positively or negatively? How does it affect us? It's like they know this is not the place, babe. Here, yeah. uh, do you think my job affects me positively? Uh, I mean, should we talk about YouTube or what? You can talk about YouTube, about like bartending. Bartending. But let's talk about YouTube because that's like what I'm doing mostly. Okay, YouTube. Um, if affects, it affects you. Um, Is it me or us? It's both. First you and then us. Oh, me positively or negatively? Yeah. So it, YouTube affects you. Uh, both positively and negatively. Positive because you get to have more like you know reason to travel because you want to travel anyways. But now you know because you have YouTube, you have like an incentive. Mm -hmm. uh, so in that way, it's positive, and you get to do videos and have a community and make money out of it as well. Mm. So in that way, it's positive. But if maybe negatively because. I feel like it, it, it has made you maybe lose focus on other things in life because you are so focused on, on YouTube. I don't know why you're laughing, because I'm serious. Yeah, and like uh, other things in life, okay. Yeah. Like what? Like, you're, like it has become your priority. So like even if it has to do with relationship, friendships, family, other Maybe jobs family. or education, anything else, it one comes one after. Ah, yeah, so it's not my number one priority. Uh, it's my number one priority, not other things. Yeah, so in that way I can say negatively. Okay. And uh, how it has affected us, 
uh, it has uh, in a way good because we also get to travel more maybe than we would have I don't know if that's the case mm-hmm. uh, but negatively because um, now I think because of YouTube you travel for longer periods so of course it affects us because you know it's a long time we don't see each other <laughs> stuff like that and then also because in those videos sometimes there are women and I don't know who these women are mm-hmm. and you are too car- too like comfortable comfortable with them and of course they don't know you have a girlfriend so they don't care they just think oh this guy I don't know what they think let me not pretend that I know and um, yeah, so many things. It has affected us in so many ways. No, it has. It affects us in so many ways. Um, and also, like, you use so much time. Like, you know, when someone goes to work, they go to work, they come home, and then, okay, you can have some work to do at home, but not, you know, but you, you it's like you, that work, you don't know how to organize it. So you can even be doing it until midnight when you're supposed to be spending time with me. So, of course, it affects us in a bad way. Do you think you would be happier in our relationship if I was not a YouTuber? If I was doing a normal 8 to 5 job? Maybe. It depends. Because also if you were this kind of guy that wants to do that kind of job, but then you don't like traveling or you don't want to travel often, like I've been in relationships like that, then also it's boring. But I wish that you did YouTube, but you found a way to balance it. That's what I wish. Not that you didn't do it. Balance it with what? With uh, the time, for example, how you do it, you know, not that you come to bed and you're still uh, doing things that are related to YouTube and not that you wake up in the morning to reply comments before you say good morning to me. Mm. And uh, so that you know how to prioritize it in a way during the day and in your time. And also that it didn't, but I understand, of course, why you travel for a long time, because if you go all the way to Africa, it doesn't make sense to go to one country and come back to Europe, like both financially and time wise. But in, in, of course, it would be better if it wasn't such long periods of time that you have to go away for. But the problem I have is that even when you are home, I feel like you don't know how to balance it. That's my main issue, because at least if when you are home, I felt 100%, then I will feel less affected when you're gone, you see. Yeah, that's what I mean. All right, your turn is the last one for you, yeah? Okay. Should we try the wild card? Yeah, let's try and see. Wild card. But we have to do at least one level three before we end. Okay. Wild card. Ah, this you have to write. Okay. Check for the other one. one, yeah. Yeah, right. I think all of them you have to write. Okay, wildcards yeah. are for writing. We don't have pen and paper, so. Last one. What have you been extra sensitive to lately? Is what have you? I been extra sensitive to lately? Is this like for from my own self or like? Yeah, yourself. Or like f- in, in with us? Oh, as you wish. I, I don't guess. know. They didn't specify. Have I been extra sensitive to anything? What I've been extra sensitive to, as uh, as as in terms of life, is that uh, I was supposed to be here in the summer doing like some summer jobs, but I've not worked as much as I hoped to work. So I think that's what uh, I've been extra sensitive to. Because you know, when I'm away, I'm not doing like present jobs I'm doing like YouTube or online jobs. So what do you mean? What what do you mean with that? That you have been extra sensitive to that? No, like I've been thinking like oh shit I haven't made enough ah. money. Like how will this uh, affect A B C D, you know, stuff like that. Mm, yeah. Okay. Cuz I like I didn't hit my goal, the goal that I was hoping to attain when I was coming back home for the summer. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's me. Mm. Hold. What feelings are hard for you to communicate to me, and how can I make it easier? I think this is too personal to okay. answer on camera. Take another one. What did our worst argument teach you? Even that one. Our worst argument. Is it too personal? 
I don't know. I have to think about that one actually. But we should take it. It's interesting. Mm. What are you currently currently working through that I don't see if anything? This one you can answer. It's very personal, but I will answer. Uh, what am I currently working through that you don't see? Uh, my personal... How should I call it? Personal... Not problems, but like... Yeah, maybe I should call it problems. Mm. Yeah, like I'm trying to, to, to be more... More... Uh, aware like accept and try to find a way to deal with my personal issues instead of just pretending that they are not there you know mm. yeah. so that's what you're working on that i'm not aware i mean it's not like i told you so i guess that's why you're not aware yeah. it's not like i'm telling you that oh you know okay this and that now your last one level three. Oh, this is so close to my mouth now yeah uh, Last one, level three. What answer of mine surprised you? Uh, this we haven't played again uh, enough to answer this. Uh. Is there anything you still don't know about me that you wish you did? Anything you don't know about me that you yeah. wish you did? Like your future plans. I wish I knew. Like a hundred percent, I could say this is what. Jackie wants in the next five years. Okay. Yeah. Have five. you ever asked me that? Yeah, but you said yourself you don't know. Okay. Because I, I think I've asked you, like, where do you see yourself in the next five years or something like that? Mm. Yeah, but you could not give me, like, uh, a, an answer, concrete answer yourself. Mm. Yeah, so I think that is it for me. Okay. Okay, and my last level three. What goal would you feel best? Eh? What goal would feel best for you to accomplish this year? How can I support you in that? Yebo. No wait, were you? Oh yeah, yeah. It's me who is you who asked. Yeah. So now yeah, this is me asking you. Okay. So, how, what goal would feel best for you to accomplish this year? How can I support you in that? Um, what goal? I wish, or one, my goal would be to, first of all, finish my thesis because I'm so over it. Um, and secondly, to, to understand, I think, what uh, job I want to do. Because I feel like since I finished school, I have... All the interests I had, especially before I started studying human rights, all of that has like disappeared. I feel so disinterested in everything. So I wish I could find again something that like interests me because I don't want to do a job for the rest of my life that I'm not interested in. Mm. So 10% battery. So I think uh, before saying I want to get a job, my goal is actually to figure out what I like because i feel like the things i used to like i don't know if maybe it's because when you study something for so much it becomes you know like you are over it mm. or if it's because i really have changed and i'm not interested in those things anymore, things anymore. Mm. so i want to figure it out ah, okay interesting oh and how can you help me to accomplish it I don't know because I don't know, but uh, you can help me. Well, I mean, with my thesis, of course, with discipline and with uh, figuring that out, uh, maybe I giving me ideas or like maybe you have, maybe you know me and you know what I like. I don't know, different ways. Okay. So that's, that was uh, intense. So the game is called. Uh, actually, what's the game? What's the game called? We are not really strangers. We are not really strangers. So uh, it might end up being that you're really strangers, or you know, you're not really strangers. And where did you get the game from? Online. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. So if you guys are interested in the game, you can Google. It's called We Are Not Really Strangers. You can play with your friends. But this is with not your. Really. It's supposed to be a big pack. Yeah, with your friends, with your significant other. 
and that is it so let me know what did you guys think about the questions about uh, how it is and actually if you are dating somebody you can just be posing this video part by part and you guys also answer and then tell us in the comment section how it ended up for you guys if you got to know each other a little better or not so now we're gonna go off and we're gonna answer the ones that were personal and see how it goes remember to like subscribe and share that is it Bye.